1986. Drop by meeting of law enforcement officials, Roosevelt Room, Widmer, and Kinlaw. Closed. Jack Lamont from DEA. See you. President. Alan Nelson. See you, Higgins. I think you know Judge Webster. Thank you, sir. You know Mr. Jensen? around here and I can I can understand how they they came about <laughs> the problems that you that confront you every day and I'm most grateful to you to John for uh, having some security to look out for me yeah, I'm sure it's and, a pleasure. <laughs> and uh, the others of you with the, all the things you treat with from organized crime to drug trafficking and white-collar crime and Somebody cheating on their income tax. Or <laughs> <laughs> no, but all of it. And I'm most grateful to you and grateful, too, for your management, uh, your awareness of our budget problems and all that you've done in, in that regard. And I hope that we'll always be able to, well, as long as I'm here, I know we're going we're gonna to stand behind you and try to help in every way we can the problems that confront you every day. So... Kevin said that. Uh, you said it all, sir, I think, very nicely. And uh, on behalf of everybody here, I think uh, we could work for the final president. So thank you very much, sir, for all your support. You make our lives, I think, a lot easier. And uh, I just wish uh, somehow the Constitution could change so we could have you for another four or five years. <laughs> <laughs> well, I will say one thing. You see, you know, converts are, of course, the most dedicated of all. And I'm a convert. I was. Uh, I think about 11 years old, when the first no fireworks law had gone in in our hometown of Dixon, Illinois, and I had one of those torpedoes and I threw it the bridge when I was approaching the bridge over the Rock River and it made a nice satisfying bang and then a fellow in a gray suit pulled up alongside me in his car and said, get in. And I said, I'm not getting in your car. And it, then he flashed a badge on me, and I got in. <laughs> and then I made the mistake of my 11-year-old life. I said, twinkle, twinkle, little star, who in the hell do you think you are? <laughs> that cost my old man $14.95. <laughs> and I became a law-abiding citizen with a great respect for the law. <laughs> well, thank you all. Thank, thank you. Thank you. May 28, 1986, lunch with political cartoonists in the cabinet room. Um, Hadley and Kinlaw, five, beta. beta, closed. Well, Mr. President, okay to see me? Nice to meet you, sir. Keep talking, keep talking. I know that. Mr. President, Dick Lover. Nice to see you. Nice to see you. 
distinction in your particular profession. Now, in Hollywood, we had the Oscars, and that could tell it all. Football, of course, just takes a number of touchdowns and games won and lost. And for you, the greatest tribute, I think, is if they clipped you and taped you to the refrigerator door. <laughs> <laughs> uh, after many years of you looking at me and drawing cartoons, I thought it'd be nice if I had a chance to look at you. <laughs> you see, I look at your work, believe it or not, and I'm a great fan, and especially those of you who are doing comic strips also, because uh, I read the funnies the first thing. That's the first part of the paper I read. <laughs> been so all my life, and you'd be surprised how many times that's the only thing. <laughs> <laughs> now because some of you says, young, I'm just going to show up. We thought we'd put an easel there because knowing that the muse could sit on any artist's shoulder at any time, we wanted to if such a thing happened, why to be able to come up and get a copy. And I just thought that I'm going to show you. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, right. Right. Funny uh, <laughs> can, we, uh, can we bid on this? <laughs> <laughs> now, some of the older ones may have to tell some of the younger ones with you who this is. Who is it, Bill? I haven't seen it. Well, I have to tell you. Bill was Bill Malden. <laughs> I became a great fan, greater than for William Joy, Joe, when in World War II, having been a reserve officer in the Horse Cavalry before I was called to active duty, he did that wonderful cartoon of the hard-bitten old cavalry sergeant and the jeep <laughs> with the broken front axle and the sergeant is aiming his <laughs> <laughs> Oh, <laughs> I'm afraid all cartoonists have to sign their work. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we, we have to place responsibility somewhere. Yes. yes. Yeah, we don't want to be a kid. <laughs> Yeah. 
Okay, recording. 28 May 1986. Diplomatic Room uh, doing a uh, taping for the ABC affiliates. Affiliates. It's Patrick on recorder. Harris on camera. Okay. Well, their monitor is off and they have a burgundy suit. Oh. <laughs> but it's better because then you go with purple. Oh, I see. Yeah. How far down are you cutting? Just to your, um, just the end of your skirt. Can't really can't the end of my skirt. Mm -hmm. All right. <laughs> okay. Is Mike on? Yes. Stand by. Ron, we know what you've been going through, how rough the last few months have been. And we want you to know that we support you, that whatever you do is fine with us. Don't, Don't do, do it. it. <laughs> Cut. Shouldn't have laughed to sudden maybe we did maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Testing one. Yeah. <laughs> 
Passover and knowing that I would be able to listen to my own radio with my own radio. Sorry, we can't go to the end of it. <laughs>